Wednesday, January 22nd, and this is your two-minute video on how to reprogram a Sonoff with Tasmoda. Number one, disassemble. Number two, you must acquire a 3.3 volt compatible uh, serial adapter. I got this off Amazon of all places, uh, and it happens to support 3.3 volt. It came in a five pack, and it was delivered by Prime, and it also came with the wire. Couldn't have been any easier. For simplicity, I've got brown as ground, RX as red, orange for TX, and 3.3 volt as the yellow. And all I've got to do is just hold these wires in there. I'm going to plug them in. And I've got the orange, which is the transmit on the black USB adapter, going to the RX of the board and vice versa. So it's transmitting and receiving uh, on opposite pairs. So step one, hardware complete. Step two would be determining what the USB port for this is. And it doesn't show up until I plug it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then run a, from the Linux machine, ls slash dev slash ttyu. And I'm expecting there to be a file. Oh, did it again. Interesting. So I'm not sure why it's not coming up. Hmm, let's try plugging this in to this again, because it seems like having it plugged in, this might go over two minutes. Hmm, having that plugged in was making it talk to this thing, which was interfering with it. Well, let's move on for now. They're recommending that you go to the GitHub for Tasmoda and scroll down to get the bin file. Where is the bin file? The pre-compiled ready to go bin file, which is located down here. And then we also need to put the device into programming mode, which requires um, either using a button if it's already connected to it or finding the GPIO zero pin and bringing it to ground level. And thanks to the handy explanation from our friend Kenneth. Here's your user button. Um, this is hooked up so that you can hold this down for bootload on power up. And normally you can use it to visit, to toggle, the, you know, so that the firmware supports you. So we can use this button. It's connected to GPIO zero per our instructions. We're now at the three minute mark. Per the Tasmoda GitLub IO, we have to download the ESP tool, which takes us to the Espressif thingy bang, and you can download it there. You can just copy the link, and then you can go git clone it, or you can download it as a zip. So now I got tasmoda.bin, and we're gonna dump it onto this device. And per instructions, I'm running ESP tool from its directory, where it's in my downloads. I'm directing it to the port for USB zero, and then I'm setting some settings and I'm directing it at the bin file. So you need the bin file, you need ESP tool downloaded, you kind of need a Linux machine, you need a serial adapter. I guess the Linux machine makes this four. You need Kenneth. We're at the four minute mark. I've doubled the time that I said this could be done in. Well, let's plug it in. Oh, I forgot to... I gotta put it into uh, fancy mode. So we'll hold the button, plug in for a couple seconds. One, two, three. I don't know how long I'm supposed to hold it down. And then, uh, it doesn't say anything. I'm just gonna click enter and run the thing. All right, it didn't like that because I have to use slash dev, not slash day. Okay, it's writing the things to the stuff. Well, that's exciting. Finished. All right, we're done. So now, now I have a device that's running Tasmoda. Oh, I guess I was supposed to back up the firmware that was on there and erase it, but I didn't do that. So you put it back in the enclosure and you get yourself a cord 
and you load up the rest of the video and we're looking for neutral and the line and you go on Kenneth's video looking at the zip cord itself the neutral and the line plugged into the right places leave that up to you to figure out I don't have it connected to anything but I'm gonna plug it in and hopefully it does not light on fire hey the light came on so now it should be in uh, Wi-Fi broadcast mode and we should see something called, ta called Tasmota so there it is. So I'm going to connect up to that. And then what does it say I need to do? Go to do 192.168.4.1. All right. And then we put in the Wi-Fi and the password, plug it in, punch in a password, click save. And it should restart and connect up to my Wi-Fi's. In the meantime, go back to your regular Wi-Fi channel. The Taco Network. So I'm in my router and I see the Tasmoda is... Where did it go? 1.175. And there we are. We're connected. I don't have anything connected to it, but you should be able to hear the thing clickety-clack. And I click the toggle button. All right, we have a successful Wi-Fi clickety clacker. And it only took us like six minutes. Folks, uh, you can follow me on the Twitters and you can follow Kenneth on the Twitters as well. Uh, this was our first collaboration on a project, and he didn't even have to do much. Subscribe!